Lesson Overview, Chemical Reactions Unit, Lesson 2.1, Investigating Substance Changes. In this lesson, to investigate whether substances can change into different substances, we conduct a hands-on investigation of a chemical reaction and view an atomic model of this chemical reaction in the digital simulation, gathering evidence to evaluate three different claims. This combination of activities provides us with an opportunity to observe a chemical reaction at the macro scale and atomic scale in order to discover that the properties of substances change during a chemical reaction and the atoms rearrange to form new substances. This demonstrates scale, proportion, and quantity. Step-by-step -step plan. Uh, step one, complete the warm-up handed in. In step two, in place of a hands-on lab, you'll watch two short videos demonstrating a reaction and then respond to the questions based on what you see. Uh, step three, you'll use a simulation to investigate the reaction you watched in step two at the atomic scale. Uh, step four gives you a chance to reflect on the investigation. If you're in class, you'd be discussing with other students. If you have other people available to talk to during this time or to reach out to, that would be great. Otherwise, reflect on your own and answer the question. Be sure to hand that in. And then step five, you're going to actively read an article and then respond to the questions provided below that article. Hand that in, and that'll be the end of the lesson. Our unit question is still, how, does, how do new substances form? But now that we're in Chapter 2 and we have some more information from, coming from Chapter 1, is how did the rust form? So back the reddish-brown substance from Chapter 1, rust, how did this rust form? We're presented with claims, and we need to investigate this question. Amplify Science Chemical Reactions Unit Chapter 2 Lesson 2.1 Investigating Substance Changes. We begin in the lesson brief as always, or we can access our digital resources for the lesson if should we need to along the way. In the warm-up, we are given a message from Dr. Jung. Make sure we read through that message. Uh, we have a new problem we're investigating. We have three new claims, and then we need to pick which claim we think at this point uh, is most likely to be true. Hand that in. Move on to step two. Now in step two, uh, it's a hands-on investigation. We've provided videos for you to access through Google Classroom, uh, linked to these instructions as well, uh, to watch instead of um, using the reaction calcium chloride and sodium carbonate. And then there's an investigation question there for you before you begin. Uh, also want to point out that... Uh, So the chapter two question, how did the rust form? Uh, this reaction will help us answer this question. And so they present to us the three claims again that we saw in Dr. Jung's memo. In screen two, uh, they actually have you do the investigation. They review the safety guidelines. This is where you should go. If you haven't yet watched the videos as to what went on during the reaction, um, so the more properties you observe and the details you record, the more evidence you'll have to decide whether or not any of the substances have changed into different substances. And again, uh, the video is going to replace what you see in front of you. Uh, and then the key concept to remember in this step is that during a chemical reaction, one or more starting substances, we call them reactants, change into one or more different substances. We call them products. So reactants form new products. In step three, we're going to work with a simulation. Uh, same simulation we saw before, so when you click on the link and you open the simulation, uh, we start here in room A. So before in the upper left, we chose chemical stock room. This time we're going to stay in laboratory A, as, it, as the instructions tell us to. Uh, and then we are going to click on the plus button, and we're going to add those uh, substances that we just mixed. So they give us instruction. There's calcium chloride. Uh, and then they also have us add the sodium carbonate, the two chemicals that we used. We're going to hit the test button, uh, run through the test, uh, observe what's happening, uh, play this out. You can pause or continue to play through. It's going to give you results. I don't want to do that completely in this video because I don't want to reveal all the work that you get to do. Uh, but when you are completed with mixing the chemicals, there's the results off to the right side, uh, and then you can decide what happened. 
And you, when you go back to step two of step three, or screen two of step three, uh, again, here were the instructions that we followed. You have some questions to respond to once you've done that, and then hand that in. Step four is a student-to-student -student discussion. Uh, if you can reach out to talk to somebody in your house or via email or social media about what went on, somebody else in your group, that's great. If not, reflect on your own and answer the questions uh, in the first screen. And then be sure to revisit reactant and product. They were in the key concept that we looked at a moment ago. But these are two words you need to know the definitions of and be able to use them regularly. And then hand that in. And in step five, you are reading a new article, actively reading, right? We're always reading, we're annotating, we're thinking about what we read. Synthetic materials, making substances in the lab. And after you read through that, you're presented with a couple questions uh, to respond to, or actually three. And then once you've answered those to the best of your ability, hand that in, and that, lesson, that is lesson 2.1.